Hi, I'm Sam from Needcraft and today I'm going to show you how to make this beautiful floor lamp from one of our great creative kits. So, first of all, we'll just have a run through what's in the box and what you get as part of your kit. So, first of all, we have these rings. This is the base ring and in here you'll see that there's a circle. The outer circle is for a European fitting and then there's this converter ring in the centre that can go in or out and that will give you your fitting for your UK. These little feet here for the base that they stand on just need adding in so you can just simply take them and slide those on meaning that's all ready to go. The other ring that you'll get is called your plain ring and this is a 20 centimetre diameter ring and this will sit at the top of the shade. You'll also get in your kit a piece of lampshade making PVC. Now this is self-adhesive so it has a paper backing that we're going to peel off shortly and the brilliant thing about this is that it's all cut to size for you so you don't even need to get your tape measure out for this project which makes it lovely and simple. Along two of the edges you'll see a kiss cut and this kiss cut we're going to bend that back and peel away this excess um, PVC later to give us exactly the right fabric mar margin. So it is making the kit really easy to make up. This is not just any old sticky back plastic, this is professional quality lampshade making PVC um, it's exactly what you would see in the shops on a retail uh, lampshade. So it's been tested for fire resistance, which is really important for safety. It's also been tested by the Lighting Association Labs, and it's also anti-static and anti-yellowing. So a really great high quality product. What you also get in your kit is your rolled edge tool. And this tool is flexible, as you can see. It has a serrated edge along the top, and then two smooth edges along the side that come to a point. And we're going to use that right at the very end of the demonstration to get this fantastic clean edge along the top and took all our fabric underneath and out of the way, giving us a really professional finish. Also in your kit, you'll get a roll of double-sided high-tack tape. It's very, very flexible, which we need it to be for this product. And it's also transparent, so you can see through that. And we're going to use that to adhere to the rings later, which will help pull the whole shade together. Finally, in your kit, you get a great set of instructions. So these are photographed instructions, step by steps, giving you lots of hints and tips of what to do as you're making your shade. So really easy to follow, making it a really great creative product and very, very easy if you're a complete beginner to something like this. Other tools that you'll need um, are things that you'll already have at home. So a good pair of fabric scissors. I usually have a second pair of scissors for cutting my tape. You can use a craft knife as well instead of scissors if you wanted to, but do make sure that you've got some protection on your table. And then we've also got a seam roller and the seam roller is fantastic for pushing down the seam where the two parts meet at the back and you'll see me using that later on as well. So you'll just need a clean work surface um, that's, that's flat for laying out your fabric on and just a quick word on fabrics as well. Um, we've got this really lovely, fun tortoise print today to use to make a par shade. Um, but it's always best to use a woven fabric, something like a cotton or a linen or a polyester. Um, it just means you get a really crisp, professional finish. So on to making up our shade. First of all, position your fabric as I have, face down onto your clean, flat surface. And then you need to put your lampshade making PVC on the top. Um, this it, you need to put down with your, your backing face down on top of it. And with this particular fabric, as you can see, it has a direction. So we've got to be really careful now because our floor lampshade can only actually stand one way up. So you need to make sure that you've got your animals or people or whatever it might be facing the right way, particularly things like trees and flowers as well are one to watch out for. So make sure they're facing the right way up. And your kiss cuts should be along the top and the bottom of the, of the floor lamp. Okay, 
So I've positioned that on there now. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pull it away a little bit. What we need to do is just peel back around about five to 10 centimeters or kind of two to three squares and just make sure you're peeling all the way down and find a line on your fabric that you're going to use an eye line. So basically that you're going where you're going to stick down. So I'm going to go for my tortoise's eyes here and make sure that they're all just sitting in line along the top of the shade. So I'm just going to stick that down. Just pull that back a little bit. And what we're using is, is this piece that we've peeled back, we're just going to make sure that that's in position because that will then help us get the rest in position. And all I do is I just rub that down with a base of my hand there. Okay, so yeah, that's looking lovely. It's all in position. And then what we need to do is just very, very gently pull away. Okay, so just a little bit at a time, just making sure that the fabric is staying flat underneath. And there we go, and just run along. Exactly the same again, just reveal a little bit at a time. And it gets a little bit easier as you get towards the end. So just making sure that your fabric's not bunching up underneath, lovely. There we go, and again, so just keep peeling this back. And as I said, these are really great products for personalising your home, uh, for lighting up that dark corner. Um, they look lovely on a windowsill or even they could be in a porch. Um, you know, so just a really nice lamp. And they're quite a statement piece as well with being 74 centimetres high. So there we go, just keep moving along. So something that you could make at home, maybe for yourself, or you could make uh, for a friend or a member of family, or something you could even make if you're already making shades to sell as a, as a small business. So there we go. We're just going to pull that final piece off. And just, as I say, make sure that the fabric's sitting nice and flat. And if it isn't for any reason, you can just peel back because it's important that we get this stage right. So there we go. So I'm just going to, what I'm going to do is flip that over and make sure that I've got it flat. Now there is a little bit of a crease there, but just to show you how you would deal with that, just simply smooth that down. And you just want to make sure there's no little frays caught underneath. There we go, that's perfect. So it's all sat down really neatly. Lovely. I'm really happy with that. It's a really nice, bright, colourful fabric that's going to look really good. Okay, so I'm just going to turn that back over. Okay, and I'm just going to take my fabric scissors. Now, this is where you could use a craft knife, and all you would do is just cut along the edge of the PVC. So you're using the PVC as a guide, really. I prefer to use scissors because I feel more comfortable with that. So we're literally going to take our scissors and just cut, there we go, neatly along the edge. So that's all cut neatly around the edges now. And then what we're just going to do is we're going to remove our kiss cuts. Now, the best way to do this is to just simply fold them back and they should pop open. If you've got a slightly thicker fabric, it might not pop open the first time, but you can always just run your hand along there on the way back. And then what I like to do is I just push down one and lift up the other. So you can easily grab that and just very gently peel those away. Now my fabric's fraying a little bit, but we don't want too much fray, so that's why we do it nice and gently. And then exactly the same on the opposite side. Just fold back and already you can hear that popping open. There we go, so that's popped open lovely. And then 
just lift up the edge and very gently peel that away. Okay, so we're nearly there already on the PVC. We've just got one more stage to do. We're just going to take our double-sided tape and along one of the long sides, so you'll be taping between the kiss cuts, we just need to attach the tape. And it should be just on the PVC, so not on the fabric at all. So just as close to the edge as you can get it there. Apply that along the edge. And then just take your scissors and snip that away. Okay. And what we're going to do now is we're going to remove the backing tape. So that's the red part of the tape. And just be careful when you, when you kind of get under there to lift that backing tape that you don't accidentally lift up the tape as well. So there we go. Lovely. So that's our PVC done. So our first stage is completed. For the next stage, take your rings and again take your double-sided tape. So what we're looking for is we're looking for the ring to sit between the two tape edges. So we're just going to keep moving the tape around and it just needs to sit centrally as much as possible. And when your edges meet, I always tend to just snip a tiny little bit before because if they overlap, it can be quite tricky then to get the backing tape off. Now this stage is quite important. What we need to do is, with our fingers and thumbs, we just need to roll the tape around the ring. And as I mentioned before, that this backing is flexible. Um, and this is why, because we want to try and get that ring covered as much as possible with the tape. So we want it to be as sticky as possible. So you just keep rolling round with your fingers and thumb until you get back to the two ends. And once you've done the plain ring, you can then move on to your base. So just the same again, positioning those edges and you want the center of the, the, the ring to go right through the center of the tape. There we go. And then again, just snip off. And exactly the same motion again, just push that down. Now you will find that when you push it down, it will just hit the leg, that's not a problem at all. So we're just exactly the same motion, we're just making sure that we get as much of the tape around the ring as possible. There we go. Okay, so that's our two rings covered now. So we're nearly ready for the next stage. So I'm just gonna turn this on its side so you should have the taped edge of the PVC away from you, okay? And first of all, I'm just going to remove the tape from this one because then I can pop it back on the table. So just find again your two edges and peel off the red backing. And then we're going to do the same on this ring. Now, it's just important at this stage that you make sure that you put your rings in the right positions because obviously we've taken care to make sure that we've positioned our PVC right. We don't want our tortoises to be upside down on our floor lamp. Okay. There we go. So I'm just going to check on my tortoises. So this is going to be my base and this is going to be the top of my floor lamp. So I'm just going to change those round. And what we're going to do now is we're going to adhere these onto the PVC. So they must be on the PVC, not on the fabric. So I'm just going to do this ring first. So you just position your ring right onto the edge of the PVC. And then with this one, just be careful of the legs. You really don't want the leg to be here on your seam where the two uh, pieces are going to meet. So just position it so that it's in the centre of one of the openings between the two legs. Exactly the same again, position, so it's on the PVC and just a little bit away from the edge. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna roll. So take your time with this um, and just concentrate. I tend to look at one ring at a time, rolling a little bit at a time. There we go, and you can already see that the tape is doing its job. I can let go of that and then I can start rolling from the top. So 
So we're just making sure that our rings stay on track. If they don't, you can hear that. Just peel them back a little bit and go again. And we're just going to keep moving them on, making sure that they both stay on track. So we're getting very near now to our opening and our taped edge. And what I tend to do is just very gently roll this round. There we go. And the two will come together. Now don't push on the centre at this point because you don't want to dint your fabric, um, your, your PVC. So just make sure that those two are squeezed together and then just roll it onto the seam very, very gently. And I'll just do it from this side. So you can just pop your hand in and push those together very gently. And this is where your seam roller comes in really, really handy. So you just need to roll down, all the way down your seam. Okay. And then from this end, you can do the same. Just pop your hand in there with your seam roller and make sure that that seam's adhered. So it's really now starting to look like our finished shade. So for the next stage, we need to prepare the top, ready to tuck our fabric underneath. So before we do this, I'm just going to lay this back on here so you can see that you have an overlap of fabric. And that overlap of fabric, we want to take away a little square from out of the inside. So just taking your fabric scissors again, you just need to simply cut in and cut away that small square. Just. And it's just so that you don't have two layers of fabric overlapping there. And then I'm going to do exactly the same on the opposite side as well. So just cutting in there. And then, just to prepare our fabric ready for tucking in, we just need to simply push down the fabric at the top. So it's just so that it sits underneath the ring. And that will start already sticking to the tape that we put on our rings earlier. So just push that down. There we go. So, there we go. And once you've done one end, you can turn it on its end and do exactly the same on this side. Now what you'll notice on this side is that you have the legs sticking up so we're going to need to cut in so just before we start and again you can lay it on its side to do this is just make sure your scissors the blades of your scissors are underneath the leg and just snip in exactly the same again on the next one just snip in and then on the final one There we go. And then we're going to do exactly the same. We're just going to push the fabric so that it sits under the rings. And where those snips are, that should now very nicely go underneath and around those legs. And now we're on to our final part of making our floor lamp. So you can see how quick and easy it really is. So I'm just going to grab my rolled edge tool um, and as I said before, this has a serrated edge, two smooth sides and a point. Um, and you can use this in lots of different ways. The way we're going to use this is we want to get this fabric tucked underneath our rings. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to turn the shade on its side. So I'm just going to clear my surface a little. And what we're going to do here is I normally start on the opening of my hem. So I use the pointed corner, but you can also use the serrated corner as well, which is really good for getting that fabric underneath and gives you a little bit of grip. So you're just literally pushing under the fabric underneath the ring. Now, you're not to be too gentle, but not push too hard either. You've just got to get a nice firm push, pushing the fabric underneath. And you'll see a few frays initially hanging out don't worry about those straight away. Just concentrate on getting the fabric underneath. 
And as you can hear, there's a little bit of a crackling sound. And what's happening there is, is the, the ring and the, the tape are lifting away from the PVC, allowing that to go underneath. So it's a really positive sound. So we're just going to keep moving round. And once you've done a little section, you can take your pointed end and just run quickly along and that will push all of those frays underneath. And then we'll get back to the point where we started and I just put, usually push my thumb onto the flap there just to make sure we get it nice and tightly tucked over. And then you can just run round making sure that any loose frays are all nicely tucked in afterwards. It's quite a satisfying job this because it gives you such a lovely clean professional finish and then we're just going to do exactly the same on the bottom section so lay it again on its side and I just find the point where the seam is and I start from the open side tucking underneath there we go and that's going in really nicely and you'll come up to the feet and you just need to make sure that you tuck in as much as, po as possible just at the side of the foot. And if you have any long frays, you can just simply snip those down to smaller ones. That's another long one. So we're just going to finish that off and tuck all our last frays in. So just before we put stand it up, we're just going to have a look at the electrical fittings. Um, we have a UK fitting that we're going to put in. So um, this is our UK fitting, but we also have European fittings available. And these need to be bought separately to the kit, but you can also buy them from us at Needcraft. So make sure you pop one of those on your order. Okay, so you simply just take off the skirt of the fitting. And again, this is just similar to as you would do if you were fitting a shade at home. Pop that through the hole, reattach the skirt until it's nice and tight there. Okay, and then I'll just get my bulb, just a bayonet bulb, fit that in in the same way. Okay, and that's in there. I'll just get my electricity supply. And there we have it. One finished shade, which I'm sure you'll agree looks absolutely fantastic. So these are brilliant for personalising spaces at home. You could use any fabric of your choosing. Brilliant to make for gifts for friends or family or also a fantastic product to make and sell um, if you wanted to sell these um, on, on various craft websites or sell them at craft markets. So a really, really great product. I hope you've enjoyed watching this today and that we've inspired you to get creative with our kits.